So in this video, we are going to learn how to automate Facebook comment replies with AI agent. Let's say you own a business and you also have a Facebook page for your business where you keep on getting some comments on Facebook from the user. Now you want to reply to these comments. So let me tell you, you can build an AI agent which will automatically reply to these comments and make them a personalized reply too. So in this AI agent, whenever we are going to receive a new comment on our Facebook page post, automatically this AI agent will pick that comment and send it to AI platform like OpenAI and generate a reply for the same comment. And after that, we are going to post the same reply back on the post on our Facebook page comment as well. So the same reply given by AI will be posted on the user's comment too. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this AI agent all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page where I keep on getting some comments on my Facebook page post. Now, in this video, we want to create an AI agent using which we will get the new comments which we are getting on our Facebook page post and that AI agent will send the same comment to OpenAI or to ChatGPT or to any other AI platform and using that it is going to generate a reply for that comment. After generating a reply for the same comment, the AI agent will automatically post the same reply under the same comment on our Facebook page post. So this AI agent is going to completely automate the process of getting the comment, replying it and posting it back on the Facebook page. Now to build this AI agent, we have to connect our Facebook page with our AI platform like OpenAI. And we are going to use Public Connect to connect all of these applications and build the AI agent. So here you can see we are on Public Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can set up your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. After creating your account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create a workflow over here. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name my workflow as AI agent for Facebook comments auto reply. AI agent for Facebook comments auto reply. You can give any other name as per your choice. Then just select the folder of the Public Connect account in which you want to set up this workflow and click on create. And as you click on create, here you can see the workflow will open in front of us. Now here in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole workflow works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So this means whatever trigger event we are going to set up over here, on the happening of that trigger event, the AI agent which we are creating, which we are building, will start, will get activated. And then after that, whatever actions we are going to set up in this workflow, the AI agent will follow the same steps. Now here, as per our use case, we have to set up the trigger event for our Facebook page to capture the new comment. So we want that whenever we get a new comment on our Facebook page post, the same comment should be captured by this AI agent. So here in the trigger step in choose app, we will search for Facebook pages. Just select it. After selecting Facebook pages in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new comment. After selecting this trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook page with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook pages button. Then after that, here in this pop-up window, just click on continue. And as you click on continue, we will see our Facebook page, or should I say our Facebook account, will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, the next thing it asks us is to select the Facebook page. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which we have in our Facebook account. Out of all of this, we have to select the page from which we want to capture the details, the response of a new comment for which we are creating this AI agent. So let's see the name of my Facebook page is Galaxy Fitness Gym. So I'll just search for the same Facebook page and select the Facebook page over here. After selecting the Facebook page, we just have to click on this save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Public Connect is waiting to capture some response or details of a new comment from this Facebook page. So let's do it. We will just go to a Facebook page and here on any post, I'm just going to make a comment, a dummy comment over here. So the comment is, what is the address and timing of the chip? So I'm just going to post this comment over here. 
After posting the comment, here you can see that as this comment is posted in our public connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we are going to receive the response. And here you can see that the response is received. In this response, you can see we are going to receive the details of the exact same comment. We have the name of the same person who has posted the comment. Then we'll scroll down. We have the date and time in UTC time zone that on what date and time the comment was posted. Then here we have the link of the post as well that on which particular post we have basically received the comment. Then after that, we have the actual comment message. We have a unique post ID. We have the comment message that what is the actual comment which is posted by the user. Then we have the post ID once again and also we have a unique comment ID. So in this way, you can see that we have received the details of the comment which are posted on our Facebook page. So as we are going to receive any comment on any post of our Facebook page, we are going to receive the details of the same comment in this AI agent. This AI agent is going to capture the same details. After capturing the comment, what we want to do, we want to send the same comment to our AI platform like OpenAI or ChatGPT and generate a reply for the same comment as well. For that, we will scroll down, click on this action step, and here in Choose Zap, we will search for OpenAI. Just select it. After selecting OpenAI, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as ChatGPT. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our OpenAI account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key or API token of our OpenAI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. To get it, just go to your OpenAI account and after that what we have to do, we will just go to Dashboard. After coming to Dashboard, from the left sidebar, we will go to this API key section and then click on this Create New API Key button. Now to that, we have to give this API key a name. Let's say I'll name it as AI Agent for Facebook. This will be the name of the API key. You can give any other name as per your choice. Then just select the project of your OpenAI account, select the permission as all and click on this Create Secret Key button. As you click on this Create Secret Key, the API key will be generated. Just copy the API key from here and paste it over here. After pasting the API key, just click on Save. And as we click on Save, we will see our OpenAI account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the AI model. So here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the AI models which are offered by OpenAI. Out of all of this, let's say I want to use the model as GPT-40 Mini to generate the reply of the comment. So I'm selecting GPT-40 Mini over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the prompt that what do we want chat GPT to do? What do we want OpenAI to do? So we want it to reply to the comment which we have received on our Facebook page. But before generating a reply, we also want to give some background or some kind of details of our business for which we are running the Facebook page. So on the basis of those details, it can basically generate a generic reply. So let's say in this comment which we have received, the user has asked us for the address and the timing of the gym. So we have to enter all of those details in the prompt. Now here, this is a simpler way to enter all of these details into the prompt itself and then using that prompt and giving the comment which we have received, let's generate the reply and post that reply on our Facebook page as a comment reply. But there is another way. Using OpenAI, if you want, you can generate an AI assistant and you can train this AI assistant on your custom data. So if I click on this create button here, you can see you can give this AI assistant a name, you can give some system instruction, and you can upload some files or some kind of data. And on that data, you can just train this AI assistant, your own AI chatbot. And after that, using Public Connect, you can send the details, send the comments to this AI assistant. And after that, this AI assistant will give you some reply based on the custom data, custom trained data, which you have given to it. Like basically, let's say if the users are asking for some generic diet plan or nutrition plan on the comments and using this AI agent of replying to comments, you want to give those details to them on your Facebook page. You can basically train this custom AI assistant on your own data, which you want. And using it, you can generate the reply messages. So we have two options. Either we can generate some kind of generic replies using this chat GPT action, or you can basically use this create message action over here, using which you can just send the messages to your AI assistant, custom trained AI assistant, and get the reply. Now, if you want a dedicated video that how you can connect your AI agent with OpenAI assistant and use it to generate the reply, you can just write us in the comment box and we will come up with a video very soon. 
But right now, I'm just going to enter all the details of my business for which I have created the Facebook page in this prompt section. Okay, so we have entered the prompt over here. In this prompt, I'm saying I'm the owner of Galaxy Fitness Gym. And then here we have entered all the details of a business, like what is the address, what is the timing, contact details, and all of that. Then we have specified that we received various comments on our Facebook post. And I would like you to craft appropriate replies to these comments, addressing their questions accordingly. If specific information is unavailable or uncertain, please encourage them to contact us directly at the provided phone number. Also, just give me the reply of the comment in response and do not add anything extra or any extra special character. I'll be posting the same reply on Facebook. So we have specified that we want the reply for the comments which we are sharing and we just want the exact replies and no extra characters or extra text. Now here in this prompt, after entering all of these details and completing the prompt, we have to mention the name of the person who has posted the comment so that we can make the reply more personalized by including their name in the comment and the actual comment we have received. So we have received the actual comment from Facebook page over here in the trigger step of this workflow. So here from the trigger step responses, we are going to send the response of the message and the name of the person to this open AI action step and enter it into this prompt field. And to add the trigger step responses in this action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. Just click on this field of prompt and here in front of name, as we click on it here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook of a new comment. Out of all of these responses, select the response of the name of the person and map it. Now that, just click here in front of comment and we are going to select the response of the comment message and map it over here. After entering the prompt and mapping the name of the person and the comment, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. In this response, in front of message content, we have received the actual reply over here. The reply says, Hi Michael, our gym is located at this address. We operate from this time to this time and on weekdays and on weekend we are operating on this time on Sunday. So here you can see that this is the reply for the same question which was posted as a comment on our Facebook page post. So in this workflow, in this AI agent, we have generated the reply from ChatGPT over here. Now let's move to the final step where we are going to post this same reply on our Facebook page on that comment. For that, we will scroll down, click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose zap, we will search for Facebook comments. Just select it. After selecting Facebook comments, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as reply comment on page post. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here, once again, we have to connect our Facebook account with Public Connect for this action application. For that, just click on this connect with Facebook comments button in the pop-up window. We are going to follow the same process. Click on this continue button. And as we click on continue, we will see our Facebook account will get connected with Pably Connect. After making the connection, the next thing it asks us is the page. So here in this drop down, once again, we are going to search for the same Facebook page. After selecting the Facebook page, it is asking us for the post ID that on our Facebook page, on which particular post we want to reply to the comment. Now we have received the post ID and the top level comment ID in the trigger step responses of Facebook. So when we capture the details of a new comment in those responses, we have received the response of the post ID and top level comment ID as well. So in this drop down of post ID, you will see a list of all the posts which we have made on this Facebook page. But out of all of that, we'll just scroll up, come to this trigger step and here in the trigger step response, we have this post ID and this comment ID. And one by one, we are going to map both of these details in this action step of Facebook comment. Now to map the post ID, we will just turn this mapping button on and clear the default response. And from the drop down, from the Facebook pages responses, we'll select the response of the post ID and map it over here. After mapping the post ID, in the next step, it is asking us to map the top level comment ID. And we are going to use the same process of mapping once again. We'll just click on this field of top level comment ID over here, turn on the mapping button, clear the default response, and from the drop down from the trigger step responses of Facebook page new comment, select the response of comment ID and map it. After mapping the post ID and the comment ID, it is asking us to enter the comment that what is the comment which we want to post as a reply over there. And we have received the reply comment from OpenAI in the previous step. So here in the OpenAI responses, we have received the actual reply message which we want to post on Facebook. So we are going to map this response of reply over here in the comment field. And the process of mapping stays the same. Click here from the drop down from OpenAI responses, select and map the response of message. 
After mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, here you can see within seconds, we are going to receive some response over here. And the response is received. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the comment which we have mapped over here, this comment is posted as a reply on this particular comment which we have received on this Facebook page post on this Facebook page. So let's check it. We'll just go to our Facebook page and refresh our page once. We'll just scroll down and go to the same comment. And yes, here you can see that from my Facebook page, a comment reply is posted on the same comment where we have asked for the address and the timing of the gym. And this is the same reply which was given by OpenAI. This means the AI agent which we have created using Pavli Connect in this video, this AI agent is working perfectly fine. And using this AI agent, whenever we are going to receive a new comment on our Facebook page post, automatically within seconds, we are going to post a reply for the same comment as well. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. Let's say I have another post over here of a new year and I'm going to post a comment over here. Let's say the comment will be for example, do you have any new year offer? Now this is a detail over here which is not added in the prompt. So we have not added this detail of new year offer in the prompt which we have given to OpenAI. Let's see how OpenAI is going to give a reply for this particular comment. So I'm just going to post the comment over here. The comment is successfully posted. And as we post this comment, we will see instantly within seconds, we are going to receive a reply over here. So after a few seconds, we will just refresh our Facebook page once. And yes, here you can see that within seconds, we have a reply received. So we posted a comment app, do you have any new year offer? And the reply is, thank you for your inquiry, Michael. So we have the name of the person who posted the comment to make it more personalized. We currently do not have information on new year offer. Please feel free to contact us directly at this number. So this AI agent is completely accepting that we have not entered any details of new year offer. And then it is asking the user to contact the gym owner or the business owner directly on the number which we have mentioned. So clearly we have mentioned the same in this prompt over here. Now, if you want to make it more personalized or update the details, you just have to keep on updating the prompt and update the information based on your experiences and responses in the prompt. And this AI agent will get refined with time. So we have tested this AI agent in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just this particular application, you can create AI agents for multiple applications and business use cases using Pavli Connect. And one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this exact same AI agent in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same AI agent and start using it from your own Public Connect account just by connecting your OpenAI account and Facebook profile. And not just that, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation and this AI agent, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabric Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.